Welcome to this tutorial for Public Administration 6123 Economic Development Course. This tutorial applies to Assignment 4 and we will be showing very quickly how to do sectoral shares as well as also how to calculate location quotients. Let's go over the definitions for both of these terms. First of all, when we are talking about sectoral share, we are talking about an industry sector share of total employment for a given area. And by area, we mean a county, a metropolitan area, a state, or nationwide. It's a very simple division question. You take the number that are employed in a given sector and you divide it by the total number employed. From this, we're able to figure out what location quotients are. Location quotients being comparisons of one area's business composition in other, by a sector view to a larger area. So in many cases, we're going to be looking at a county as compared to a state or a county as compared to national. And very simple, you take your local sectoral share, i.e. the county sectoral share of a given industry, and you compare it by the national sectoral share. So what you're really doing is trying to see how your local sector compositions compare to the national to see do you have a stronger, do you have more strength in a given sector than the national average compared to others. Uh, this is important to kind of see where you have uh, sectors of the economy that perhaps export productivity. Obviously if you have more employees there's a likelihood that they are exporting productivity to other parts of the state or other parts of the country or the world or those areas that you're perhaps deficient in or naturally deficient in as well as looking at how those numbers change over time. I've gone ahead and pulled the data from table CA25N because uh, the information you need for assignment 4 you only need it for 2005 and 2015 and I've pulled it for the national for the state of North Carolina as well as for uh, the test county which is Buncombe. Uh, to kind of work with each county in these tables again use the filter feature so we are going to just pull Buncombe County and we're going to separate it out and I'm going to shrink it just a little bit and when you're working with sectors when you look at column F and industry classification what you're really interested in are those sectors that have a number in them uh, so you're looking at farm forestry mining utilities construction and so on don't worry about the other ones you're really only interested because these are summations these are totals that are not uh, necessarily reflective of anything else so so there there's no doubling of the count with respect to these given sectors uh, as we saw with the equation, we go, say, to call to uh, here the row for farm employment, and we do a division problem. We equal N40 will equal M40 divided by uh, total employment, which is M35. And because that is total employment, and we want to be able to calculate that for each of the other rows in this um, in this particular uh, column year, we're going to put a dollar sign before 35 to lock that particular cell and there we have it we're going to uh, we've done the equation you can see it's 0 0.009 or nine tenths or a little less than one percent of total we're going to uh, reduce that a little bit we're going to uh, use the uh, column feature and we're going to we're going to adjust the decimal to uh, three decimal points so we're going to do that now let's just copy and paste this into the other fields we've talked about that have a number over here in column F and do that real quick and as you can see and there's one other column that you have to add and that is the column for government and government enterprises uh, which is, should be below uh, it should be um, line code 2000 uh, which will be below other services so you add that as well and if I sum all of these together I should get a value of 1 and we do so every all of the jobs for that given jurisdiction have been uh, included in that sectoral share. So we now know the sectoral share or the percent value, um, the percent of each of these sectors as a compo as a composition of the overall job market for the uh, given county here, Buncombe County. We can of course also do that at the national level and the state level. And of course, then all we got to do then is just come over, highlight this area, copy it, and then paste it over here this uh, column X here is 2015 numbers and we have the same information now for 2015 and you can use this to kind of compare uh, you can link it you could uh, copy and paste this over to another f uh, area if you wanted to so that it's easier to work with 
So as you can see here, I have gone ahead and calculated the 2005 and 2015 sectoral shares for Buncombe County as well as for the statewide and national from the data from CA25N. And as you can see, we can now do the location quotients uh, for Buncombe County, comparing Buncombe County's numbers uh, both to statewide numbers as well as national. And uh, it's very, again, very simple division problem to do. Uh, in this case, uh, we're going to enter the uh, location quotient comparison for North Carolina uh, for Buncombe County, and that is uh, cell D8. So it is equals C8, which is the Buncombe County sectoral share in 2015, and we divide that by the North Carolina sectoral share for 2015, which is here column I8 equals, and you can see that you have a number, and that indicates that for agriculture for farm employment, uh, the number the location quotient for Buncombe County is 0.78 compared to North Carolina if we were to do the United States again it's uh, it ends up being C8 divided by K8 and the number is actually a little less it is 0.63 uh, when calculating location quotients uh, it's kind of important to keep in mind that if a location quotient has a value greater than one the area has proportionally more workers employed in the specific industry sector than the larger comparison area. If it is greater than 1.25, that means that that particular industry can be an exporting industry uh, because it is its likelihood that its productivity is greater than what is consumed locally. And as such, it is actually exporting a product or service for a given area. If the location quotient, however, is less than one, as it is the case here, uh, it may indicate that the opportunity is there, depending on the marketplace, to develop business to serve that local market. Uh, it's important to remember, of course, that it may make more sense given the way economics are uh, and the way productivity is to focus on those areas where re other resources are stronger, but it is something to think about that there is the potential for industrial growth given that if a location quotient is less than one, there might be an opportunity. But again, it does include other factors. You think about Buncombe County, there are some agricultural operations there. There's a lot of people there that live in the Asheville area that would love to have locally grown food, but there's also some limitations geographically as well as some other factors that have to be considered. So whereas the location quotient here is less than one, my belief would be that it's actually not the worst thing in the world that it has a location quotient less than one. However, let's look at where it was more recently in 2015. We do those numbers real quick. And you can see that the location quotients actually got closer to one in 2015, uh, with the location quotient uh, at the state level being 0.92 and nationwide being 0.79. Uh, there was a slight increase uh, in the overall sex share for Buncombe County, there was a slight rise in farm employment, uh, but at the same time, uh, the uh, sex share for North Carolina overall and nationally actually went down a little bit. So possibly reflecting changes in the economy, including a decline overall in the share of our overall employment statewide and nationally that comes from agriculture. Let's go ahead and copy and paste this information for the rest of these sectors. And what you see here is that you do have some sectors here that have a value greater than one. Um, some items like healthcare in particular, North uh, the Asheville area, Buncombe County has a large regional medical center, uh, and as a result, likely is providing healthcare for more than just the people who live in Buncombe County. Is providing healthcare services, professional healthcare services for residents throughout Western North Carolina. You can also see, obviously, it's going to have a pl uh, over one in the retail trade. That's a reflection of the overall uh, market that's there, the, the, tr the tourism market, and other facets of local of the local economy. Uh, but then at the same time, you see that there are some other areas where the numbers are below, like in manufacturing. And it's rather interesting. Compared to North Carolina, uh, Asheville's uh, sectoral sh uh, location quotient for manufacturing is actually below uh, numbers for North Carolina, but they're actually above the national share. Uh, so that shows, of course, if you're trying to compare North Carolina to the United States, you would notice that uh, North Carolina would actually have a stronger uh, location quotient for manufacturing than national overall.